when I was your age, maybe a little bit older, this is grade 8, yeah, I think I was in about grade 10 or 11 when the band Chicago, does anybody ever remember the band Chicago? Yeah, the old guys do, excellent. Uh, and James Pankow is still the trombone player in the band Chicago. And I wanted to sound so much like James Pankow that I found out what instrument he played, and that was a King 4B trombone. I went and bought a King 4B trombone. I so much wanted to sound like James Pankow. And I listened to their music all the time, and I listened to his sound, and I still to this day think he's got one of the most beautiful trombone tones that I've ever heard. And the biggest compliment I think I ever received was I was in my early 20s. I was about 20 years old. Yeah, I, I had to be at least 20 because I was married by this time. And uh, my brother-in-law, who was a professional musician and also a music teacher, after coming in here in my band play, said to my wife, Tom sounding so much like James Pankow. And I thought, I've made it, all right? And I truly believe that if you have a mental image of what you want to sound like, it helps you achieve that. And it's not just in music, it's in sports and a whole lot of things, all right? So I'm going to ask you to do something right now. I'm just going to ask you to sit there quietly with your eyes closed. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about the most beautiful sound that you've ever heard on your instrument, whether it be flute or bassoon or bass clarinet or tuba or French horn. I'm going to be quiet here in just a second. Have you got that image in your mind? Think of all these things that we've just gone through today. The opera singer. Uh, this. This. Add one more, that one more element. What you would like to sound like. Ready? Ready. <laughs> Let's do that again. I can't hear you breathe. That's the, that's the key, that's the goal of this whole exercise, this whole series of exercises. Ready? Let's do this one louder. Ready? <laughs> 